Hey guys, I'm Aditya Thakur and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to quickly see how to add percent indicators to your Flutter application. We would be looking at circular and linear progress indicators, percent indicators, and we would see how to use them inside your Flutter application. So let's get started. To get started, I'll quickly create a new Flutter project. It should take some time, but I'll fast forward through it and also run the code on an emulator. So let us go over to pub.dev. Uh, the package that we would be using today is called percent underscore indicator. I'll quickly search for it. The first one showing up with 99% popularity is the one. I'll copy the package name and I'll copy the package name and add it to my pubspec.yaml. So I'll go over to the pubspec.yaml and add the package in the dependencies under Cupertino icons and do a pub get so it should fetch all the required files. I'll now go back to my main.dart and clear up some code. Uh, let's get rid of this my homepage. And also remove the theme that I won't be needing that as well. Uh, let us now rename it to homepage and clear the title property. I'll create a new widget called this home page. And now we would be using the uh, package inside this uh, new widget. So let us import the package files. Now to simply use the circular pro uh, percent indicator, we'll add it to our widget tree. So type in circular percent indicator, not progress indicator. takes in a radius property which you need to give it so let me just yeah so all the available properties are shown up and we can tap into them so if I run it now it should show up on the black screen as a white circle uh, what I'll do is quickly wrap it in a scaffold And now if I run it, it should show up at the top of the screen. So what I'll do is center this widget by wrapping it with center. And uh, we have this simple uh, per indicator showing up now in the center of the screen. Uh, I'll first increase the size so it's better visible. And now I'll go ahead and give it uh, the percent properties. So let me just type in percent and give it a number. So you can't give it as percentage. It should be decimal between zero and one. So instead of writing 60 like this, I would write instead of writing 50 like this or giving a direct percentage, I would write it 0.5 now we have this property called circular stroke cap so what i will do is uh, i'll quickly increase this uh, line width and now if i give it the circular cap uh, stroke cap property you will notice the change is better so if we change it to yeah so you can see like what are all the different circular stroke caps available i'll reformat the code And there are a lot of other properties that you can tap into so you can even change the progress color by typing into the progress color property give it a new color like let's say black and then you can simply use the center text property 
so we can also tap into the animation property set it to true and each time you go over to this page or restart your application the small animation of the indicator filling up should be visible so yeah that's about it and you can now simply add percent indicators to your own flutter applications i like to add them to a number of mine and they are a easy way to show progress and uh, certain values on the dashboard so yeah i hope this video helped you do not forget to subscribe if you are new here thank you for watching